All right, let's get started. Open up your browser and type in roamresearch.com and you should see this splash page here. By the way, this video is going to walk through the very basics of signing in and signing up, but it's so we can make sure everyone gets a firm footing as we start. I mean, once we walk, we can start running, which we will, I promise. Let's go ahead and sign in. Make sure you use the email address you used when signing up for the Rome Book Club, since this is what connects you to the shared graph. Now, let me stop here and explain what a graph is. I mean, you're going to hear this term often, and it basically means the database that you're working out of. There's two types that we're familiar with. Well, I mean, that depends on your level of nerdiness, I suppose. But there's a relational database, and then there's graph databases. I mean, since the 80s, relational databases have been the sort of workhorse for software applications. Think spreadsheets, think tree hierarchies, think Excel tables with thousands of columns. What makes a graph database different is that it is designed to treat the relationships between data as equally important. Nodes, connected to nodes, connected to nodes, connected without constraints. You'll see how we are using the information is different than the silos of relational databases. Now, mind you, I'm not entrenched in all of the technological advancements that are happening in the world right now, but it's clear that something is happening. Anyways, let's get back to signing in. Type in the email you provided when filling out the form for the Rome Book Club, and if you haven't already, you can always sign up for Rome now. If you're already a dues-paying member, don't worry about this, but if you haven't already, go ahead and start your free trial. $15 a month or $165 a year, charged after 31 days. What's great is that Rome does offer a Rome Scholars program as well. That provides a discount if you qualify, so if that's the case, go ahead and fill out that application and they'll get back to you. I did want to mention the benefits of the Believers plan, which covers your dues for five years. But the best part are the believers calls that happen so often. I've met some of the most helpful people from these impromptu meetings and we've had some really powerful conversations afterwards. Believers do get offline access too, which basically allows you to host your own graph completely firewalled from the cloud. So if security is an issue, then this might be the route for you. So scrolling to the bottom of this screen, you should see a heading that says shared with me and they're going to be all, these are going to be all the graphs that have been shared with you connected to your email address. Now, if you don't see RBC3 How to Take Smart Notes or RBC3 The Culture Code, uh, leave me a comment on this video and I'll get you sorted. Let's go ahead and open the graph by clicking on RBC3 How to Take Smart Notes.